मोस्ट ऑफ द आई सी डी ट्रेडर्स टेंड टू स्टडी द मार्केट मेकर मॉडल एंड पावर ऑफ थ्री एस सेपरेट मॉडल्स बट आर द एक्चुअली डिफरेंट मॉडल्स और सेम मॉडल्स मार्केटेड विद डिफरेंट नेम्स लेट्स फाइंड आउट एज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी कवरिंग वॉट इज पावर ऑफ थ्री एंड इट्स कॉम्पोनेट इंक्लूडिंग एक्यूमुलेशन मेन्यूपुलेशन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सेकेंडली वी विल बी लुकिंग एट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ मेन्यूपुलेशन एंड वाई मोस्ट पीपल हैव लो विंडेट्स विद पावर ऑफ थ्री एंड देन वी विल बी कवरिंग हाई प्रोबिलिटी वे ऑफ ट्रेडिंग पावर ऑफ थ्री एंड लास्टली एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एस टू वाई पावर ऑफ थ्री बिकम्स रिडेंडेंट इफ यू नो मार्केट मेकर मॉडल सो पावर ऑफ थ्री इज बेसिकली अ प्राइस फुट प्रिंट दैट रिपीट Beats in forex, crypto, and commodities market. It is basically a price chart that repeats again and again in all the markets. It has three types of phases: manipulation, accumulation, and distribution. The first phase is the accumulation phase. The second phase is the manipulation phase, and the third phase is the distribution phase. An important thing to remember here is that manipulation phase has two types. and in this video we will be seeing all those two types now let's discuss each of these phases in detail first of all we will be discussing accumulation accumulation is the region where retail traders build their short or long positions according to their directional bias now if we see the purple box here in the purple box retail traders are building either short or long positions according to their directional bias now in the second phase of manipulation that is marked with the yellow box market makers or exchanges will push the price up this would be a fake move manipulation is always a fake move will push the prices up and take these stop losses of the retail traders and then price will reverse so first phase was accumulation retail traders in the accumulation phase build short positions and put their stop losses here now in the manipulation phase market makers and exchanges push the price up took their stop losses and then they reverse the price then they reverse the price in the third stage that is the distribution stage now let's revise it again firstly in the accumulation phase what happened the retail traders build their long and short positions in the manipulation phase market maker and exchanges took out their stop losses and their positions in the third stage that is this distribution stage market makers pushed the price to the initial direction in which the retail has anticipated initially retail was short but market makers took their stop losses and then reversed the price this is what po3 basically is now we can see its definition as well in the accumulation phase retail uh, traders build their long and short positions in the manipulation phase market makers and exchangers do a fake move to take out retail positions an important thing to remember here is that manipulation is also known as judas swing and manipulation usually usually 90% of the time happens on red folded news and as i told you previously manipulation are of two types liquidity based and range based we will see examples of both type of manipulation so don't worry for now just look at what we have studied up till now up till now we have studied that there are three phases of power of 3 first is accumulation in which retails build position second is manipulation in which market makers take out these retail stops and the third phase is of distribution in which price reverses to the initial direction of which retail anticipated like suppose retail was short here first of all retail stops were taken and then the price moved in their short direction so the price will move in the retail direction but only and only after their stops are taken by the market makers so i hope the basic scenario of po3 is clear now we will study it on charts first of all we will be seeing what are the two types of manipulation first type of manipulation is liquidity sweep based manipulation in this type of manipulation price only wicks this is an important word price only wicks in the higher time frame pdra and reverses now let me show you an example here you can see on the 4 hour chart on euro usd i have also marked the time frame for you guys so price came and wicked in the fair value gap and reverses it is a quite instant manipulation and this is type 1 of manipulation in which price only wicks into the higher time frame pdra that is this fair value gap this one which i am coloring and reverses 
also there are structural highs present here so price just quickly shot up took out the highs and tag the higher time frame pdra and reverse there is no candle closing in this region which i am marking with the orange so this is type 1 of manipulation now let's move on to type 2 of manipulation type 2 of manipulation is basically range based manipulation at higher time frame pdras this means that a lower time frame range would form above or below the higher time frame key level and then the price will reverse in the first type of manipulation price only wicked and reversed there was no range formation in second type of manipulation there is a range formation on the lower time frame and then price reverses at the higher time frame pdra so let me show you an example so things get more clearer here you can see price came and took these lows and started to range here on the lower time frame however in the type 1 example price only wicked in the higher time frame pdra so can you see the difference between type 1 and type 2 for type 1 let me write it here for type 1 we will only have wicks however in type 2 manipulation we will have range bound environment on the lower time frame so as you can see in this type 2 example price came took out these lows range bound here for a bit and then reversed so this is a type 2 manipulation so i hope both the type 4 manipulations are clear now let's move on to uh, now let's move on to the topic as to why most people have low win rates with power of 3 the first reason for having low win rates with power of 3 is that most people like to consider power of 3 on lower time frame instead of the higher time frame and hence they will always incur losses because on lower time frame power of 3 isn't so effective let me show you an example of both here you can see this is a euro usd chart on the one hour time frame we accumulated for a bit then manipulated but failed to distribute why because this was a lower time frame chart and po3 isn't so effective on the lower time frame chart however if i go on to a four hour chart of euro usd like here you see we accumulated manipulated and then distributed so our amd or power of three works perfectly on higher time frame but is slightly ineffective on lower time frame so your win rate will drop on the lower time frame and hence it is advisable to execute on time frames of 4 hours or greater now let's move on to the second point as to why people have low win rates with power of 3 that is because most people like to consider po3 on random areas in chart instead po3 should be considered only at higher time frame pdras let me show you an example of this as well here you can see po3 was considered at a random area in the chart there is no higher time frame pdra in this chart as you can see no higher time frame pdra in this chart hence your po3 will fail you can see po3 we have the accumulation manipulation but it failed to distribute why because there was no higher time frame pdra here and higher time frame pdras are fair value gaps order blocks and liquidity now let's see an example in which there is a higher time frame pdra present here you can see we have a daily order block present the orange line marks the daily order block which serves as a higher time frame pdra hence price came accumulated here then manipulated and distributed towards the top side so the two most important mistakes that beginners make while using po3 are trading on the lower time frame power of threes which is really not advisable because po3 gets less effective as you reduce the time frame secondly you should look for a higher time frame pd array before executing the po3 now let's move on to a next topic that is how to trade po3 in a high probability way so the first step would be to identify the trend and make sure you align your po3 with the trend second step would be to identify a higher time frame pd array the same mistake we discussed earlier for low win rates 
and third step would be to wait for red folder news and execute if you see either of the manipulation types there are two manipulation types liquidity based manipulation types and range based manipulation types now let's look at an example for this you can see euro usd on the daily time frame is in a bearish trend so our first condition is satisfied we have identified the trend and we know that we will look for a bearish po3 now let's come on to the second and third conditions now we have to identify a higher time frame pdra this fair value gap is on the 4 hour and can act as a higher time frame pdra our third point was to execute on the red folder news and execute when we see type 1 or type 2 of manipulation so here you can see on the cross mark we had the red folder news and which type of manipulation is this this is type 1 manipulation so i hope it is clear we would have taken a shot here actually i did take this shot in real time you can check my twitter i shotted here with a stop loss above the fair value gap and targeted these lows I couldn't catch the move after that but I targeted these lows at least so it was a 3 to 4 hour trade now let's move on to the real question as to whether there is any difference between the market maker model and PO3 so in my opinion and my past study of ICT for 4 years I don't see any difference between the market maker model and power of 3 as you can see both of them have the three stages accumulation manipulation and distribution here you can see in the market maker model we have the accumulation manipulation and distribution on the power of 3 we also have accumulation manipulation and distribution so both of them have the three similar stages also market maker model should also be implemented at higher time frame pdras and same goes with po3 po3 is also implemented at higher time frame pdras also the manipulation or juda swing is of two types in the market maker model and similarly in the power of 3 the manipulation and juda swing is of two types so i really don't see any difference between market maker model or power of 3 and if you guys do see any difference or you have any experience of any difference between power of 3 and market maker do let me know in the comments below and here i have attached two examples in which the market maker model is pretty similar to the p of 3 so in my experience i really haven't seen any difference between these two and they can be used interchangeably however if you know any difference between market maker model and po3 i would be glad to know and include it in my trading thank you for watching